Hey, so I made this persona and it's bald. I mean, yeah, it's not me. But it's you. Yeah, but- So it can't be bald. Why not? Because <laughs> it can't. It needs me to look like you. You know what? No, 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 no. Ah, that's better. Hey there, Yappers. It's Brie back with a new video. Today I'm talking about a topic that has brushed my mind a few times and I'm gonna talk about it because why not? Before we begin though, my super thanks thank yous. As usual, if you aren't here being the next one, if I say any names wrong, I apologize. Kazuna Endy, Gigi the Gashapon, and Neptune Honey. Okay, personas, what are they? Well, a persona in art is basically what you draw yourself as, represent yourself as. Like this little character on screen you see here. Yeah, this is my persona, or persona. Some people make it look like them, some don't. Some aren't even human, like personas. It's all just a way to show how you draw yourself. And for online communities, sometimes it's just to give your audience a representation of you. But I've noticed a lot in the art spaces online, the art community, that there's a lot of discourse around personas. What they can and can't look like, what you should and shouldn't do. And for a hobby meant to be creative, People really don't like it when you're creative. A lot of people get bullied for not looking like their personas, and it's just like, you can draw anything you want. Literally anything you want. But you want everything realistic? Like for your own art, sure. Who cares as long as you're having fun? But trying to dictate what others draw, and hating on things that aren't realistic enough? Like dude, if we can create anything, why would everyone want to create things you can see all the time? People want to be creative with what they make, so let them. I never understood the hate for the quote-unquote unrealistic personas. And not just an art style or whatever, but just looks. Like, God forbid someone draws a piercing they don't have or different colored eyes. Like, whoa, buddy, careful there, you don't want to awaken the mobs. It is so dumb when the easy solution is to just scroll. And this video was actually inspired by a video Narami made a while back. Love her art, mwah, love it. Go subscribe to her, go follow her on TikTok. But basically, she complained about backhanded compliments saying, oh wow, unlike other artists, you draw yourself how you look, or wow, you're just as pretty as your Sona, unlike some people. And just yikes. I agreed with Narami throughout her video. I'll link it in the description so you can see the full thing, but like, your persona doesn't have to look like you. And backhanded compliments like those are just so icky. And like Narami said, you don't have to bring down one person to uplift another. Narami also explained that those people would also be bullying her past self, since she used to do that. Which there was nothing wrong with that. Again, in art there are so many possibilities. You don't have to restrict yourself to what you already look like. I mean, I certainly don't look like my Sona. Like, it was originally based off my appearance, with the hair and the freckles and the piercings and such, but my head isn't red and black anymore. My skin doesn't look like you're standing right next to the embodiment of light. And my eyes certainly aren't red, and that's okay. I wanted my Sona to be unrealistic, while also making all of the elements represent parts of me and what I like. And there's no issue with that. Who cares if it doesn't look like you? Some people draw themselves like that for fun, some do it because that's how they wish they looked. There are so many reasons people make their personas look different than how they look. And if what they're making is genuinely harmless, it shouldn't be an issue. Art is about expression, and sonas are expressing how you represent yourself. How you represent yourself isn't always solely on how you look at real life. Sometimes people make their sonas look more fun or sassy to match their attitude. Some make their sonas with their interests in mind. How you represent yourself has so many possibilities, and whether it looks like you or not, as long as you like the sona that you made and it feels like you, then go ahead. And yes, this applies to people who make their OCs quote-unquote hotter than reality. Genuinely, who cares? Does it affect you? If the way someone doodles themselves bothers you that much, maybe you scroll because it's such a non-issue. Unless the person is a creep or doing genuinely harmful things, then move on. Like maybe it's a kid sexualizing themselves, then yeah, that's an issue. But if it's just someone just making themselves harder than they actually are, who cares? Really, there's no issue with that. But again, if they're doing genuinely harmful things with their Sona, then I get it. Like let's say they change their race for their Sona. Yeah, if it's a Sona meant to be them, then yeah, that's an issue. That's where I could see problems. Or maybe what they're wearing isn't appropriate. Or if their sona could be doing something like a harmful caricature. Then yeah, if it's genuinely harmful, then I get it. That's where there's a problem. But if it's literally someone just making their persona attractive, or just not how they look in real life, why care? And I get people don't like that stuff, and there's no problem with that. People have likes, they have dislikes, and on its own, that's perfectly fine. But don't make that everyone else's problem. Like I say in a lot of videos, you could scroll, block, press not interested, leave the app, turn off the phone. There's so many options that take up less time than commenting hate or making videos making fun of someone. Why waste your time? But then again, most of these people just thrive off of negativity and that's the goal. So yeah, they probably purposely won't take that advice. But if you genuinely don't want to see it, don't engage. Simple as that. The content will be recommended to you less and you won't have to worry about them anymore. And like, I don't think people realize that comments and liking and sharing and all that that counts as engagement, and whatever you're on, the algorithm will think you like it. Even if you comment hate, it still thinks you like it because you're commenting. So if you don't like it, do not interact. 
But yeah, overall, stop caring about how people draw themselves unless what they're doing is genuinely harmful. People have their reasons for why they draw their sonas like that, and even if they don't, it will really never matter. It really will never actually matter. Anywho, that's it for today. Sorry this upload is a little bit later than I usually would have it out. Honestly speaking, I've been through a lot at home, so it's been harder to produce videos. I won't go into all of that since I don't find it appropriate, nor do I want to, but that's just a little summary of why uploads may be taking a bit longer than usual. I love making videos, I truly do, I just don't want to get burnt out. So if uploads take longer, that's probably why. But hey, maybe I won't, and that's cool too. Thanks for sticking to the end if you did. And if you did, here's a little thank you through these awesome sauce brush codes. Remember to love your art, love others, and love yourselves. Bye bye